what's good with it, y'all? It's your boy Santo G, man. Back at it, cause like always, spread unity, prosperity, and respect, man. But all, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. It don't cost you nothing, and you will help the movement and the channel out a lot. So before anything, man, SPM, my thoughts on him, his career, and his music, what he's busted for, just everything, you know what I mean? Uh, and this is coming from someone that I have listened to SPM, you know, who hasn't listened to SPM, you know, as a Mexican male, you know what I mean? Uh, growing up in LA, you know what I'm saying? Who hasn't heard of SPM? But I didn't know his charges and I didn't know what he was busted for, you know, till recently everything started to come out. I seen Baby Bash's interview on it, pretty much trying to defend them, saying that they lied about the nine year old, but the 13 year old was true, but that he met her at a strip club. No, uh, I don't think in any time, you know what I'm saying? You're going to meet a 13 year old. And not know she's 13, you know, uh, that shit just don't even sound right, you know, and then as he's telling the story, he talks about how he was going to pick her up at the junior high. So it's like, okay, you're saying you didn't know because it was at a strip club, then you're saying he's picking her up at a junior high. So which one is it? You know, so off tops, just based on all of that, I seen Mr. Capone, you know what I'm saying? Salute to you, Mr. Capone, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to you from Santo G, my boy, you know what I mean? Salute to you, my boy. But I seen the videos Capone did on it, you know, and then I seen the conversation with Lazy Dub and SPM, the man himself. And Lazy Dub's calling him out. Telling him, this what you busted for, woo woo. And all he can say is, oh, I, I acknowledge your anger, you know? I know where you're coming from, so I'm not mad. Like, like, to me, it just made it seem like he accepted where he's at. He accepted what he's busted for. And he's just trying to do that and thinks he could push forward, you know? But Chalice, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's it, you know? Uh, my point of view, you know what I mean? Any solid individual, any solid homie, brother, you know what I mean, Brody, you know what I'm saying, anything, you know what I'm saying, uh, if you really with solid mentality and don't fuck with no chomos, no trauma lesters, you know what I mean, any shit like that, you know what I'm saying, will not condone his music, will not bump his music, you know what I'm saying, and pretty much, you know what I mean, he should be banned, you know, just how they banned 6 9 they should pretty much ban his music, you know? That's just my point of view. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about SPM. And this is coming from somebody that I'm not going to lie. You know what I mean? Uh, those of you who know my story, you know what I mean? I've done over 12 years upstate. You know? I did 10 years in one term and I did 2 years in another term. And working out, doing rutina, you know, there's been point in times where SPM has been on the workout list, you know, as far as music and this without knowing what he was busted for and the specifics of everything, you know, because it's like if it happened and then his fan base in Texas was so big, it's like if it, it got covered up, you know, it was rumored, it was said, it's been talked about, but nobody's really touched on it like the homie Capone has touched on it recently, you know, and really came to light with everything, you know, and my thoughts on it, you know, is he's cut, that's it, his career's over, you know what I'm saying, uh, I remember being in junior high, being in high school, you know what I mean, seeing females that I was in class with or that I was friends with getting picked up by older dudes, you know, and that shit used to fucking bug the fuck out of me now, then it bugs the fuck out of me now, you know, it's just thinking about that, there's no reason why an older man should prey on a younger female, you know, I have a four-year-old daughter, you know, God forbid, some older motherfucker try to prey, you know, liable to catch a case, so, 
that's just my point of view. I wanted to give you guys raw, real, my reaction to everything, you know, just because, as I said, you know, I have been having a lot going on in my personal life, so I haven't really been up to date with just watching YouTube, you know. Before I used to watch a lot, I used to be up to date with everything that's going on, so I may be a little late with this SPM, but Santo G, your boy, you already know, spreading that unity, prosperity, and respect. It's my reaction to SPM. How do I feel about the whole situation and my point of view, you know? And on a Texas note, before anything, man, I just wanted to say I had done a couple videos on Peso Peso saying he ain't no real essay because he considers himself the hardest essay ever. But I got to say, before I said he ain't even got an essay card, now I've been seeing him, his career. He, you know what I mean, working with more homies. I seen him work with Trouble Kid. I seen him work with Lil Weirdo. I think he even worked with old Jeezy, you know what I'm saying? But he tapped in with a couple of homies down south. So, peso, peso, from Santo G, you have officially earned your essay card. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and like, share, subscribe. Go ahead and let them know. Santo G said you officially earned your essay card. Keep tapping in with the homies, man. Spreading the love. Unity, prosperity, and respect. Out.